Let's look at some extra bit of information for the controlling module in Simple Finance. Let's look at some technical changes with regard to how data is stored in the controlling module. So I put two columns over here before how it was stored and now how it's stored. And if there's a compatibility view for that, I just mentioned that over here as well. So for actual data, which is stored in the COEP, which is the line items tables for controlling, the actual data, the two type of actual data, actual with value type 04 and the statistical actual with value type 11. Be before this was stored in the COEP table, now going forward it will be stored in the ACTOCA table. Remember all line items for controlling is also now stored in the ACTOCA table. Now any old programs or reports which is pointing to the COEP table, there is a compatibility view with the table name V underscore CEP which will allow you to point to the ACTOCA table. Let's look at the actual data for orders and projects which have their total values in COSP and COSS tables. Well, that also will be stored in the ACTOCA table. Because ACTOCA table, you don't need to have total values. Everything is line item values. And in HANA line item views, it will always take from the line item reports and aggregate them to come out with the total values. And that's why there's not a compatibility view required. So no compatibility view required for this. So actual data for orders and projects, which used to be stored in COSP and COSS, will now be stored in the ACTOCA table. How about non-actual items? These are all these statistical items. These are stored in, still will be stored in the COEP, COSP and COSS tables. There's no change to that. It will not be moved to the ACTOCA table. So all these non-actual line items will still be stored in the old tables. So how about the COSP and COSS tables? Because early in our presentation, we saw that these will be removed or deleted when you migrate to Simple Finance. Well, before it deletes uh, from the system, the system will take a backup of these tables and it will create the HANA live views for these tables. For every single table which has been deleted, there will always be a backup table created or a HANA live view created for these tables. So from the HANA live browser, you can create your own reports using the old table views. So if you're preparing for your certification, simple finance certification, you should know that only the actual data in the controlling module is stored in the ACTOCA table. All the non-actual items will not be coming to the ACTOCA table. It will remain where as it is. So let's look at how the CO postings are done for interfaces without specifying the ledger group and with specifying the ledger group. So you might be having different systems and when they're posting to simple finance and when you specify a ledger group, how the CO postings are done and when without specifying the ledger group, how the CO postings are done. I have divided into two columns so you can easily differentiate. So first column is without specifying the ledger group. Usually we do not specify any ledger groups, only some certain instances only or some rare cases only, we specify to which ledger group this interface posting should come to. So this is the normal case, this is the rare case. So without specifying ledger group, ACTOCA is posted just like before in the FAGL, how it used to be posting with new GL, it used to post in the FAGL flex A. So going forward, it posts to the ACTOCA table. The same thing is just like before, it will be posted to the ACTOCA table. There's no change whether it's without specifying ledger group or with specifying ledger group, still all the items are posted to the ACTOCA tables.